earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, famine, pestilence, disease, and death. These things are dreaded by everyone. Even if you rejoice when your enemy is hurt, you know that at any moment something similar could happen to you, and you dread that thought. So if God put us here and created this world, what gives? If God really is good, why do these things happen? The problem of evil is just that, a problem. One of the biggest problems. Why do we have to sit around and watch children go hungry if God can just stop it instantly? There are many videos and books on the topic, and many highly intelligent people that have debated this very question. But the truth is, everybody has asked this question at some point, whether in words or just in your heart. When something bad happens to us, we wonder, why? There isn't a single person alive who hasn't had some kind of tragedy happen to them, and when they do happen, the thought of relieving that pain is at the top of our minds right away. Every time some kind of evil spreads to the masses, this conversation surges. Whether it be natural disasters, shootings, disease, pestilence, or war, they all give us a reason to cry out, Do something! Come on! Prove it! Show me something real! I need it now! So if God exists, and if he's good, why doesn't he just remove that for us? To understand it all, you need to know the full perspective. Think about it like this. Imagine you decide to create a universe. You make the rules for the universe, and you decide to populate it with a manner of stars and planets. Now, you pick a planet, and you decide to put your creation, your living creation, on that planet. There is plenty of non-sentient things, but you decide to make a certain creation that is better than all the rest, and is your image. Since this creation is made in your image, they have many of the abilities that you possess, and since you created the universe and you decided what to do, you give them that same ability. You give them a choice. Choose what you, as the creator, want to do, or choose to go their own way. And now, if you're the one who created the universe, and the one that made all the rules, then anything that they choose that isn't what you want to do would be evil, wouldn't it? So if free will is the answer, then why didn't God just make us without free will? We would have been with him still, right? And we wouldn't have had to make all those choices, and none of this bad stuff would have happened. Well, here's something that might blow your mind. Sure, without free will, evil wouldn't exist. However, neither would love. That's because if nothing is good or bad, there's no love, joy, grace, or peace. We'd just be like rocks, only existing. Just there, nothing more. We only know what evil is because we have a moral standard to compare it to. The extra good news is that God has decided to remove all the evil from the world. Sure, he hasn't done it yet, but he's only giving everybody a chance to make that choice whether to go his way or their own way. That's called the gospel. Remember when you experience evil that you wouldn't know what evil was without God as the standard. But if that's not all you need to hear, and maybe you need reassurance during tough times, here's a summary of the Gospel of Christ. And if that's not enough for you, and you want to see where the conversation goes, here's where it continues. Either way, I'll see you next time.